This is the full section on chapter eight on critical path analysis. And this is about critical activities. So what is a critical activity? Well, a critical activity will delay the finish time of a project of the whole project if the if the activity is delayed. Now, in projects, you may get some activities if they're not completed on time, if they take longer than expected, then the project can still finish on time. That's not the same with a critical activity. If that gets delayed, the whole project gets delayed. Now, we sometimes talk about a critical path and a critical path goes from the start of the project, the source node to the end of the project, the sync node only through critical activities. So here's an example of what a critical activity and critical events look like on an activity network where we've got two numbers the same in the top and the bottom here. These are critical events. We've got the same number. The activity that goes through them this would be a critical activity. Um, it's not always a critical activity. The way that we'll know it's a critical activity is that this uh, time of the activity will be the difference between these two numbers. OK, so um, it takes exactly five to get from here to here and it's a critical activity. So this would be a critical activity. So in a critical event, the early event time will equal the late event time. And a critical activity is often, not always, I've explained why it's not always, between critical events. Example seven, the diagram shows an activity network with early and late event times shown at the nodes, which you can see here, identify the critical activities. So first of all, I'm going to identify the critical events. I will um, highlight those. So remember, they're the ones where we've got the same number in the bottom and the top box. So these are the ones where we have the same number in the boxes at the top and the bottom. Then what we need to check is that the difference between these boxes is the length of time of the activity. So the difference there is six, here it's seven, here it's nine, and here it's seven. And actually, if you do six plus seven plus nine plus uh, seven here, you get 29. So making any one of these any longer will delay this. It will increase to 29, whereas other routes won't. So for example, if we were down here, so we've got three, four, that's seven, plus eight is 15. 15 plus seven, that's only 22. So these things could be delayed. We won't get up to the 29. Same here, six plus eight is 14, plus nine is 19, plus eight is 27, plus one is 28. So there's a little bit of what we call slack here. These are the critical events here between these critical activities so or event events so the critical activities let's spell that right the critical activities are a d g and l and we could add here if we want to, to, although this is a definition of critical activities that are critical, since delaying these activities will delay the whole project time. Example eight, part of an activity network is shown below, including the early and late event times given in hours, which are the critical activities. Now, I may be tempted to say that F is critical since it's between two critical events, but seven plus eight is only 15. This will finish before the 18. So F can be delayed. 
by up to three units of time, it won't uh, change the finish time. However, E being delayed will delay this and G being delayed will delay this. And notice seven plus five is 12, 12 plus six is 18. So we'll just put what we've said into words. So activities E and G are critical as they will delay the project finish time. And we just look at the values um, in these boxes here to tell us that and the differences between them. Whereas activity F is not critical since it can be delayed, we've seen that, by three and not delay the project finish time. Example nine, find the critical paths in this activity network and identify the critical activities. Right, so the first thing that we need to do is to highlight where we see the same numbers for the um, early event time and the late event time. Then we want to see where the differences between those values is the same. So the difference between 0 and 4 is 4. The difference between 5 or 4 and 9 is 5. So that's critical. The difference between 9 and 12 is 3. Now here we've got a dummy activity, so that's 0. So um, that's part of the critical path. Then over here, the difference between 12 and 14 is 2. So that's part of it as well. And then 9 plus 5 is 14. So that's part of it as well here. So there are actually two critical paths. So the first path goes from A to B to D, then to uh, G, and that's finishes that route or A to B. Then from B, we've got the dummy that takes us to H. So then that's another critical path. Then if we're going to write down the critical activities, well, it's all of the ones that we had written before. So A, B, D, G, and H. So you should now be able to do exercise 9D on pages 2, 3, 4 to 235 of the textbook.